this is a quick tutorial of hopping a curb. Hope. be a quick little street funky session. This is the death of the pattern, the drop, the gap, the bulk. jump over this one completely clear. There we go. Excellent brakes. Reverse. Ah. Didn't transition that well. Spinning out of control. I'll cut this. But I'm just going to sum up the uh, thousand Ks so far with the pattern. To be honest, it's a great wheel. However, I'm not going to recommend it for anything that you see in these videos that I do. I just don't think it's capable of continuing to do it long term. I don't like fork style suspension. Whilst it's really capable, it bonks well, bottoms out too easy. But the axle moves backwards and forwards as you impact here the suspension's not that great you know everyone says it's great it is and to bounce on up and down it's really plush but you still can't beat linkage style suspension
So what next for the pattern? Well, did you hear that, that rattle? That's the axle flexing enough backwards and forwards that it's hitting one of the bolts. Uh, there's nothing loose. It's been disassembled many times and it is an unbelievably good capable street wheel but jump smash into stuff like here you go what's this thing here let's uh let's hit the curb you know, run into that clunk clickety clank sounds like a piece of shit doesn't feel great bounce on it up and down like this and it's unbelievable you know so that's where we'll leave it I will be going for the 14 in the future.